Hello everybody, it's me again, and welcome to my replay of Assassin's Creed 2, part number 21, I think. Part 21, yes. Uh, we took care of Emilio Barbarigo, I think. Yes, Emilio. Silvio still left, I think. I forget. And then, uh, that other dude, the dude who always wears purple. Uh, the one who ends up killing the doge <laughs> in the next, uh, uh, later on in the story. I don't remember anything else. Oh, they're in the palazzo. Okay. Well, thanks for making it convenient to get into. God damn it. Hey, you. Hey. I am doing what I want to do. Antonio. Carlo. That's the dude in purple's name. Carlo something. Yeah. We're gonna kill him next, I think. Rosa! Buongiorno! Bello mio, come stai? You back to see me already? Come sempre, I think that's how you say it. Desolato, mia cara, but I am not here to play. I must speak with Antonio, it's urgent. Antonio! Ezio's here! Rupi! There we go. Is everything all right? Carlo Grimaldi and the Barbarigo are in league with the one they call the Spaniard. Grimaldi. They're going to murder the Doge and replace him with one <laughs> the of their Doge. own. <laughs> they will have all of Venezia, their entire fleet, in their grasp. And they call me a criminal. Then you'll help me. You have me on your side, brother. And the support of all my men. Thank and you. And women. Grazie, amici. But, Ezio. Oh, amici. I must warn you. It's not going to be so easy this time. Palazzo Ducale is the most heavily guarded building in Venezia. Nothing is impenetrable. <laughs> this is why he would we know. like to <laughs> Come, let's go take a look. <laughs> and come up with a plan. Amici is the name of a pizza chain that was down in uh, down where I used to live, near Los Angeles. And oh my god, it's so good. Greasiest pizza I've ever eaten. But oh my god, it was so good. Now we have a... Uh, is it Gold Mine Pizza or Gold Rush Pizza? I forget. Down in uh, Corsco, which is a little town nearby where I live. White pizza? Is that what it's called? Like with the white sauce or whatever? With garlic chicken on top. Oh, it's the best. Anyway, if at first you don't succeed, discover a way to infiltrate the Palazzo Ducale. You can tell I haven't eaten today because I'm freaking hungry. <laughs> I have a root beer with me. This is all I've had all day. I wonder why my cheeks were going tingly while we're recording Evil Within earlier today. Terrible. No, treachery like this no longer. I'm done, you! I'm going to read about you. Nice mustache. Leader of the Gilda dei Ladri di Venezia, Venetian Thieves Guild. Antonio was born at the very bottom of Venetian society. Records indicate his father was a cobbler while his mother was a live-in maid for the Bellini family. Teaching himself to read and write between apprenticeship sessions with his father, Antonio applied to the University of Padua, but was denied due to his low social rank. See, that's so stupid. Documents found in several Italian archives indicate he applied to other schools around Italy as well and was denied at all of them. Around 1465, he drops out of the record books only to reemerge four years later in connection with a robbery of a notable Venetian estate that happened to be owned by the rector of the University of Padua. Ha! <laughs> Karma's a bitch, isn't it? In a statement recorded by the city guard before Antonio mysteriously escaped from prison, he said, Hard work is not enough to gain superiority in Venetian society. If one truly wants more, one has to take it. Surprise. Cool dude. When I was a child. I believe you. Oh, my this is what we just read about. Unfortunately. There would be nothing for the nobles if it weren't for us. Are you done talking now? Okay, I can go into the <laughs> objective mark now. We need to scout the palazzo right. carefully. See it from every angle. We just might find a way in. I know of a tall campanile behind the palazzo. Or we might find a way to climb the back of the basilica. Do you have any ideas? I assume the front door is out. <laughs> 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 We'll try the front door as well, Saputello. Saputello, wise ass. Okay, I'm gonna have to start calling people that. 
I'll sound so smart insulting them in another language, and they're like, huh? <laughs> Campanile di San Marco. Oh, there's a glyph here. Originally built as a watchtower in the 9th century, the Campanile di San Marco was later transformed into a bell tower. Each of the five bells has a special purpose. One announces the Senate, another announces midday, a third the opening and closing of the workday, the fourth council meetings, and the fifth and final bell, executions. Mm. <laughs> I was going to make a Game of Thrones joke in there. One horn for returning rangers, two horns for wildlings, three horns for white walkers. Oh, the ending to season two was great. It's like you hear the horn and you're like, oh, so they think John's back. And then blink, oh crap, the wild legs. And then the third one goes off and you're like, oh shit. <laughs> Pretty freaking awesome. So, what do you think? We're not getting in this way. They'll have time to murder the Doge before we're able to get through all these guards. The Doge. <laughs> Palazzo Ducale de Venezia. Let's go ahead and read about the Palazzo. The Palazzo Ducale was constructed from 1309 to 1424 in the Gothic style as a residence for the Doge, or rather his prison, since the Doge, Doge was rarely allowed to leave once elected. The Doge was the highest ranking elder in Venice and served in this, his position for life. In 1172, the selection of the Doge became entrusted to a committee of 40, the 40, whose members were chosen by the Venetian Great Council. Venice liked to think of itself as a republic, meaning that the people could participate in the government. <laughs> when the doge took office, he was introduced to the people with the words, This is the doge, if it please you. In fact, members of the Great Council were appointed by the Forty, which in turn chose the Forty. See the problem there? <laughs> I do. Candidates for the Great Council were selected from a micros microscopic pool containing only noble families, and although the doge could nominate anyone to the council, the Forty and the council itself had to approve the nomination. Because the, gr because the general population was largely uneducated, the election rules were purposefully complicated, and the council controlled the guards, Venice followed the historical norm. The people got screwed. <laughs> yep. Ah, government. Climbing up this building. How long am I going? Way more time. Hit. Yep. Because we want to. You got a fucking problem with it? Is this the tower where I'm officially sworn into the Brotherhood? I don't, I don't know. I don't think so. There is water there for me to jump down into, but I'm not positive. Okay, what about up here? How do you say move your ass again? Rosa said it in one of the earlier episodes. I don't even remember. I'm not even gonna bother trying. Out Look of, at that. Out of respect for actual That's Italian good. people. And the walls are impossible to climb on this side. On this side. Okay, so that's a no, so let's go around the back. You didn't jump down like me? Oh, come on, buddy! Why didn't you just jump down? You suck. I guess only assassins know that trick. <laughs> but he is, though. He is, he's just not telling me. I, I know this. I know this. Come on, Antonio, where are you? Seriously, where is he? There you are. Basilica de San Marco. Did I read about this already? No, I read about the Palazzo Ducale. Basilica de San Marco was first built in 828 to house opposed relics of St. Mark stolen from Alexandria. <laughs> the present Byzantine style basilica was constructed in 1063. Ch check out the facade. Many of the decorations were brought back from the Crusades or given as gifts from wealthy merchants. The church was considered the Doge's personal chapel. The passageway inside, the passageway inside connects to the Palazzo Ducale next door. Ah, interesting. Bene, we're in luck. Looks like there's a perfect path up the scaffolding to the roof of the Basilica. Shall we? Sure. Me first, though. I can do it too. <laughs> Alright, Antonio. Move your ass! Ass. Oh, nice. Italian accents are lost upon me. I apologize. Okay. Ezio, look. Isn't that him? Grimaldi. Don't you understand what I'm offering you, signore? He's with the doge! Listen to me, please. For this will be your last chance. <laughs> How dare you? Okay. I'm sorry. 
Mi dispiace. I meant nothing by it. I'm only looking out for your safety. We're running out of time. Sure, sure. There's no way through this fence, and there are guards everywhere. Diablo. Damn it. Let's go. It's impossible. There's no way in or out for men. Only birds. Yes. yes. Birds. birds. Where are you going now? To see, see my, my friend, friend Leonardo. Leonardo. And this flying machine. Mm. Carlo, let's read about him. Carlo Grimaldi. Emerging from his palace in Monaco with a craving for political power, Carlo quickly became a key guest at the tables of Venetian nobility. While his reputation for discretion earned him entrance into the back rooms. Here's how the old bastard ended up in the Council of Ten. While visiting the head of the council, Ignacio Contarini, Carlo ran into Ignacio's daughter. Desperate for help and aware of Carlo's trustworthy reputation, she confided in him. Her father had arranged her marriage, but she wanted to run away with the son of one of the servants. They'd been in love since they were children, and they planned to start a new life in Milan where they could be free of her father. Carlo suggested immediate action, an escape by ship that night. The two lovers followed his instructions, and as they climbed the gangplank, they were free. That is, until Ignazio appeared on deck. Oh! Carlo was rewarded for his loyalty to the Contarini family. While true love, well... Oh! What the fuck? That's terrible! You fucking prick asshole! God damn it! Dude! How heartless and lack of consciousness do you have to be? Seriously. I fucking hate you. Leonardo, where's your goddamn workshop? This city's so freaking confusing. Get down. Come on, get down, I dare you. Yeah. Or not, fine. Go ahead and go. I don't feel like chasing you right now. Leonardo, I need your help with your flying machine to get into the Basilica de San Marco. I need your help, Leonardo. Does it work? What? What are you asking? Does it work, Leonardo? Can it really fly? I don't know. It's only a prototype. An idea. It's not ready yet. Have you tried it? No. It's too dangerous. To test it, you'd have to leap off a tower. Who would be mad enough to do a thing like that? <laughs> Leonardo. I think, I think you, you just, just found, found your madman. Mad man. <laughs> Look at that face. Look at that face. Fangirls just feast your eyes. Anyway, nothing ventured, nothing gained. Test Leonardo's flying machine. Okay. I suck at this part, just so you know. <laughs> so, how does she work? Have you ever watched a bird in flight? Um, bumping things. It's about grace and balance. You must use your body's own weight to control your elevation and direction. Good luck, Ezio. I got a really bright light shining off my arm here. Oh shit, he's going without me. All right, fine. No time for technical adjustments. Whee! Testing the flying machine. Whee! Can I land safely? I don't know if it's possible to land safely on this thing. Why am I crashing? This is ridiculous. The Palazzo's too far away. Eh. You didn't think you were actually gonna fly like a bird, did you? <laughs> Not on a prototype. I can't believe it. It worked. It really worked. You flew, Ezio. You flew. See, but not very far. Well, what were you expecting? The machine wasn't designed for distance. All right, look. Let me go over my plans here. Maybe I can find some way to extend the duration of the flight. Ezio, my men tell me Carlo has the poison. We must hurry. Shit. Antonio, this is Leonardo, the master inventor who built these. It's a merda. Hey, it's not the machine's <laughs> fault. It's mine. I've checked and rechecked my blueprints. It's just impossible. Well, that I don't was know fast. how to extend the flight. Ah, que idea del cazzo. And then Epiphany. Like Sir Isaac Newton with the apple. Oh my god. Of course. <laughs> Genio. What is he doing now? It rises. <laughs> it needs fire. Under its wings, we lift the machine. Leonardo, what good is one fire going to do? Not Multiple one fire, fires. a dozen, built all across the city. Burn them all! will carry you from here all the way to the Palazzo Ducale. How? 
Ah, oh, capisco. My men could do that, but you are forgetting about the guards. Don't worry. I will take care of them. I'll give the order to have my men move in behind you and hold the locations. They'll light them all up the second the sun goes down over San Marco. Excellent idea! Well begun is half done. Take care of the guards so Antonio and his men can light the fires needed to provide lift for the flying machine. Indeed! That was one thing I didn't like about what they did in Liberation HD. It was basically, it told you what you were supposed to do before you even had a chance to start the mission. Like, it told you what was going to happen next when you reached the next marker. I was like, but oh, he spoiled it. I almost feel like I want to go visit a tailor and dye my clothes again. Just because. Move it. Oh, there's one on the ship. This is ridiculous. Vincenzo was supposed to. Fear the wife above all. <laughs> the kid de frega. Oh, is that for the carnival? Oh shit, I actually need to kill these guys. Hold on a minute. No! I'm gonna wait for them to come across, turn around, I'm gonna jump up and I'm gonna double assassinate them in the brain. I've been practicing stabbing in the brain with evil within. Hurry up! Other buddy can catch up to you if you don't mind. This double assassination is not going to work if you're this far apart. Assassino! Assassino! Shut the fuck up. Alright, that's one area cleared. Excuse me, gentlemen. Oh. All right. Well, I guess I'm in for a fight. Let's let's fight. I want to fight. Who's gonna strike first? Who wants first dibs? You do. Oh, don't let anyone in. Ow! Who wants some stabby? Double stabby. Run away! <laughs> eh. I should have my short blade equipped, not my sword on my hotbar. I love this thing. Eh. Win. Come, let me send you to hell. Oh. Combo! your mouth. Get the fuck away from me, minstrel. It really sucks looking at them knowing I'm gonna have to be one of them in about 20-30 years time. <laughs> I'm gonna clear out these areas and then I'm gonna have to end the episode. Well, that did not exactly work as expected. Is that it? Did I, did I clear the area? There's somebody else I need to get rid of. Because the thing just kind of disappeared. Oh, I see. Okay. Hello, sir. Don't mind me. Die! I don't... I mean, I do have a woman, but she kind of doesn't want me at this point. I'll see her at the kind of Ah! Uh, wanna fight? Ow! Fuck you! That was not fair. I can't see all of them. That makes me nervous. Come on! I need to end the episode. Someone hit me. Actually, on that note. Hey. Hey. You're draining, man. Eh. <laughs> oh my god, that was the coolest thing I've ever done in this game. Woo -hoo -hoo! That was cool! I ran up the wall, jumped off the wall, and got both of them. If it weren't for the sucky camera angle, that would have been awesome. <laughs> yeah, about that. 
There's a tailor here. Maybe I can dye my clothes. The quality of our city is legendary. Damn me. I should have poisoned one of them. Okay, let's dye my clothes. Let's go for Venetian wine. It's got a little bit of red and a little bit of blue. Very nice. How about pouches? Uh, holy shit. Yeah, sure. I can go with that. Okay, thank you. Smart choice. Ciao for now. Ah, oh, sweet. Now I look cool. We'll get murder from the guild for this. Anyone see the killer? No, 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 not me, not me, not me. Don't look at me. Don't look at me. Ow! You're imposing it. Look at your friend. He's dying of poison. So look at your friend. He's dying of poison. Look at your friend. He's dying of poison. Friend from now on, yes. Sure. Just go ahead and look at your buddy. There you go. I still don't have any throwing knives. You see Yep. Oh. Yep. I don't give a shit. Oh, you think you're fancy, do you? Come on. Ow, a little early on my end. That was my ow, my bad. No, you don't call him. Okay. What the hell did Oh did shit, he's not dead. Fuck you. It's <laughs> a bit of a flare off my arm there, and I'm sorry, this this shows how white I am. <laughs> oh I see. Okay, I gotta take care of these guys. Hello! How are you today? Might have to deal with this one. Let's get rid of the heavy guys first. Get it! Do you have any last words? There you go. That is what I thought. Okay, I did it. The bonfires are ready, and we will take flight in the next ouch. Fuck you. In the next episode. So I hope you guys are enjoying my replay of Assassin's Creed 2. Like and favorite if you are, subscribe if you want to see more. I need to withdraw some money, and I will see you in my next video. Farewell, friends.